Hi everyone, this is Perry again from the Hampton Network, uh, back with another video. Uh, today I'm going to be uh, just giving you an introduction uh, or a brief tutorial on uh, Coinbase Pro. It's, um, it's Coinbase's trading exchange and basically in order to use this exchange you're going to have to have uh, a Coinbase account and basically those same credentials you use for your Coinbase account you can use to sign up and uh, not sign up but to access Coinbase Pro. So the link is just uh, pro.coinbase.com. That'll bring you to the site that, right, that you see here. So like I said, this is formerly known as GDAX, uh, G-D-A-X. It just, um, used to be this exchange's name, but they changed the name to Coinbase Pro, I don't know, maybe six months to a year ago. <laughs> but anyway, just let's go ahead and jump right in. So just a little bit about the trading platform here. You can see the different uh, trading pairs. Uh, right now it's set on all, so this is going to show you the USD, uh, USDC, which is a stable coin, and the BTC uh, trading pairs that you have for all these different coins here. So all I'll do is I'll just go over each one uh, individually. So let's go to USD. So as you can see, for USD, you can trade US, the US dollar for a Bitcoin, Ether or Ethereum, XRP or Ripple, Litecoin, Bitcoin Cash, EOS, uh, XLM, which is Stellar, Ethereum Classic, Augur or REP, and 0x. Moving on to the stable coin, USDC. Uh, you can use USDC to buy Bitcoin, Ethereum, Zcash, Basic Attention Token, DAI, Golem, Decentraland, Loom Network, Civic, and District OX. And for Bitcoin, you can use Ether. You can use a BTC to buy Ripple, Litecoin, Bitcoin Cash, EOS, Stellar, Ether, Classic, Maker, Augur again, and 0x. <clears throat> so what you'll do, let me just give you just an overview of the entire site before we go into buying and selling and marketing and limit orders. So right here, um, well, let me go here. You can see the chart, just a kind of a candlestick basic chart here on this particular, um, on Bitcoin, whichever one you have selected. <clears throat> Excuse me, you can also see the current price, the market price. <clears throat> of a Bitcoin right here. It's also available right here. If you have any open orders, as you can see, I have an open order here <laughs> for 4250 It, I do expect it at some point in the next few weeks or, or, or a month to go that low. At least I hope so because I'm in accumulation mode and I want to buy as much uh, Bitcoin as I can for the lowest price. So I'm hoping that'll get filled at some point in the near future. It may get filled, it may not, but uh, that's exactly what I'm hoping for. So if you go to my orders here, <clears throat> you can also see my open orders right here. So I can see I have only buy orders. I don't really have any sell orders at this point. Uh, once again, I'm in the accumulation phase. So you can see I have an order here. None of them are filled. But here's that price of 4250 that I have a limit. And these are all limit orders, by the way. I don't necessarily do market orders. So I have a limit of 4250 for Bitcoin. I'll buy in. I'll buy this much uh, Bitcoin at that price. I'm kind of hoping that Ethereum Classic will go back to $5 at some point. And I'm going to get 10 of them. Right here, Litecoin, I'm hoping that'll go to $60.50. I'll get pick up a couple of those. Uh, Stellar, if it goes down to $0.08, cents, and I'm pretty sure it will uh, in, in, in the near future, I'll uh, pick up 1,250 of those. And last but not least, Ethereum. Kind of hoping it'll go back down to 123 and I'll buy 0.81 of that. So now these are just your uh, open orders. Here are uh, my filled orders, any orders that you may have filled. And this would include any fees that you have. So let's talk about the fees real quick. Your fees, by the way, are gonna be cheaper here on uh, Coinbase Pro uh, than they are on Coinbase, definitely. So I'm gonna read this right here because this, this is very important when we talk about taker and maker fees. As you can see, the maker fees are pretty much gonna be less than the taker fee. So basically they say when you place an order, which is not immediately matched by an existing order, that order is placed on the order book. If another customer places an order that matches yours, you're considered the maker and will pay a fee between zero and 0.15%. So that's a maker. Let's go up to the taker. When you place an order at the market, the price that gets filled immediately, that's if it gets filled immediately, you are considered a taker and will pay a fee between 0.05% and 0.025%, okay? Next, when you place an order that gets 
partially matched immediately, you are considered a taker, and you have to pay a taker fee for that portion. The remainder of the order that's placed on the order book, and when it's matched, will be considered a maker order. So I just want to make you aware of the, the fees, and obviously for different prices, price ranges, you know, I clearly, <laughs> The, the more you you know you, you, you spend, the less you're going to pay in fees, okay? But these are the different types of fees. Now, let's go to uh, <clears throat> my wallets here. So this is what you can use when you want to either deposit or withdraw, you know, uh, funds. Uh, and I'll, matter of fact, let's just do a quick uh, deposit. Let's say you want to deposit some money in uh, Coinbase. Let's say you wanted to deposit US dollar, okay? As you, as you can see here, I have my, you can either deposit from your checking or credit card account. I only have my checking account set up here. Or you can do a wire transfer. Or if you have funds currently sitting in Coinbase wallet, this is pretty much how I do it. I just say, okay, I want you to pull X amount out of my USD wallet, place it in my uh, Coinbase Pro wallet. Or you can do the max that you have in your Coinbase and it'll go here. Then you just click deposit USD and you're good to go. Okay. If you want to withdraw, you just click on withdraw here. You select your currency type. If you want to withdraw Bitcoin, this will show you available balances. Uh, let's say you want to withdraw US dollar. You can select it here. If you keep by default, it's selected to go directly to your bank account. That's if you're going to withdraw money and they'll send it directly to your bank account. Or you can send money over to your D USD wallet over to your Coinbase account. If you want to just pick up something real quick on Coinbase, you just click withdraw. And here, if you have, you all should have um, multi-factor authentication set up. Uh, you'll probably be asked to enter that that code once you try to withdraw or deposit. Okay, so that's uh, withdrawals and deposits. Okay, and any and this screen here will show your balances that you may have in any uh, uh, cryptocurrencies or US dollar. This will show any deposits that you've made to your wallet. This will show any withdrawals that you've made from your wallet. All of my withdrawals have not been back to a bank account. They've been to transfer back over to Coinbase for, for perhaps a quick buy. Okay, so that is the wallet. Now let me go back to the exchange and to get back to the exchange, just go up here and click on trade. It'll take, take you back to the screen where we started at. So let's take a look at the buy order real quick and the sell is gonna be the exact same. So I'm going to just go ahead and cover the buy and I'll cover the limit or let's say you want to place a limit order uh, for let's say Bitcoin. This is the current pair that we own. So what you would do if you say, okay, if you think like I do that the <laughs> the price is going to go back down to 4250 at some point, you put that in just like that. Okay, 4250. And also you have to, you can either, um, what I do is I put in right here, let's say 0 0.5. So for example, you want to buy a half of a Bitcoin, that's going to cost you as you can see, it'll be a total of $2,130. So what you'll do is I typically buy, you know, between 0 0.05, you can see that's $213. So you can see how it changes depending on how much Bitcoin you, you want to buy. So 0 0.1 and that's $426. It also shows your corresponding fee. Then you all you have to do is place your buy order. And when you do that, it'll show up right here uh, as, a, as an open order. Okay. You can also place a stop uh, at the same time if you want to buy and you want to place a stop uh, for the same. All a stop is going to do is going to limit any losses that you may have. So if you want to, um, you know, for example, buy at 5200 and then you want to set a stop for 4900. Uh, so if it places the order at 5200 and for some reason it goes lower than 49, it'll, it'll go ahead and sell it at that point. But that's just a quick overview. That's going to be uh, another video. But this relatively easy to place limit uh, buy orders this is pretty much what, what I do. You can also do the same thing with the sale. It's just the exact same thing as just you're going to sell it at a certain price as opposed to buying it. Okay. So what I'll do, uh, <clears throat> I just want to let you guys know of some future videos here at the Hampton Network. I mean, we're going to be going over uh, affiliate marketing. We'll also be discussing online business. Uh, we'll also be talking a bit about personal finance and basic stock market investing. So those are kind of the niches that we're going to cover uh, here on the Hampton Network. So uh, also, if you like the videos, subscribe and like. Uh, like I said, this will be my fourth video, and I'm going to try and do a video on a system basis, perhaps once or twice a week. So if you want to know about future videos, you can go ahead and click that bell. Uh, 
for any uh, new video notifications. But before I close out, I want to go and show you uh, Coin Market Cap <clears throat> right here. This is pretty much one of the more popular sites um, where you can go to to look at the current market prices. Right here, you can see us in existence today is 2,143 cryptocurrencies, uh, eight over 18,000 markets, <clears throat> and there's a current market cap of 174.8 billion. 24-hour volume is 43.6 billion, and you have a Bitcoin dominance of 54.4 percent. This is going to increase or decrease depending on the dominance here in Bitcoin. So if you want to, for example, take a look at the Bitcoin chart, you can just simply click on Bitcoin here and it'll refresh and it'll open up here. <clears throat> you can also see the chart. I'll show you the Bitcoin chart. You can also adjust it if you want to see it year to date. If you just want to see it for one year or three months, you can see all those, see all that information here. Also, if you want to see what markets Bitcoin is trading on or any coin for that matter or any crypto, just click on this market here and it'll show you all the different exchanges that you can, you know, get Bitcoin on. Okay, so let's go ahead and refresh this real quick. Let's say you're looking for a certain coin. You can go up in the search box and you can type out either the, 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 the code of the coin or you can actually type in the name. So let's just search for Zilliqa. Oops, <laughs> if I could type. Okay, so we just click here on Zilliqa. And that'll show you the same screen we just saw for uh, Bitcoin. As you can see, it'll show the name clearly. Uh, it's Zill. Uh, you'll see the price. you also see the charts. And once again, you can take a look at all the markets. Uh, this is one of my favorite uh, exchanges, Binance. All the different exchanges that you can uh, procure Zillico on. And it also shows you the trading pairs. So that's just a real quick overview of um, CoinMarketCap. So I certainly hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, if you did, please make sure you subscribe and like. And I look forward to seeing you in future videos. So you guys have a great evening. Take care.